Tapeworms are these flat and segmented worms which live in the intestines of some animals. Tapeworms are considered to be parasites and they infect animals when they are ingested by them, either through contaminated water or food. Tapeworms can affect humans if the human eats meat from contaminated animals. A tapeworm infection can also be passed via human transmission. If a person infected doesn't wash their hands after using the bathroom and starts preparing food, there may be transmission of the larvae to anyone who eats the food. It's important to wash your hands with soap and water for at least 30 seconds if you are preparing food. The life cycle of tapeworms, there are three stages. There is the egg stage, there is the immature stage, which is also known as the larvae stage, and then the adult stage where the tapeworm can start producing more eggs. Larvae can move into the muscle tissue of animals, so when you eat the meat from the animal, if it's not prepared and cooked properly, the tapeworm can transfer into your own body. There are various types of tapeworm and they are classified according to which animal they come from. Diphilobothrium latum comes from fish, Tania solium is from pigs, and Tania saginata is from cows. Key symptoms when you have a tapeworm infection include weakness, diarrhea, fatigue, vitamin deficiency, nausea or vomiting, weight loss and abdominal pain. Sometimes a tapeworm infection can be present without any symptoms at all. In severe cases, some of the larvae, especially in cases of those which come from pigs, can move out of the intestines and damage other areas of the body, like the eyes, liver or brain. Patients at this stage may start developing seizures. These kinds of infections can be life-threatening, so treatment is needed as soon as possible. To diagnose a tapeworm infection, sometimes it can be difficult, especially if there are no symptoms. Ways to diagnose a tapeworm infection can either be through a stool sample, or a blood test to check for antibodies present which are fighting against the parasite infection. In serious cases, CT scans or MRI scans can be done to check areas outside of the gastrointestinal tract, especially if there are secondary lesions present. Treatment of tapeworm infections is usually with medications. The most common medication used is praziquantel, which is an antiparasitic medication. They work by paralyzing the tapeworms which are attached to the intestines and then they then pass through the body during bowel movements. After treatment, usually a stool sample is taken after three months to confirm elimination of the tapeworm and their eggs. Some key things to note regarding preventing a tapeworm infection include freezing meat if you are storing it. If meat is frozen for at least 24 hours, it kills the tapeworm eggs which may be present in the meat. Avoid eating raw meat or raw fish. Cook meat at appropriate temperatures at least to 145 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And if you are abroad, avoid drinking tap water and ensure your food is cleaned and cooked well where you can. You should also avoid eating unwashed fruits and vegetables. So we've made it to the end of the video. If you've made it all the way to the end, leave a 100 emoji so I know you've made it to the end. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And thank you very much for watching.